What's up, everybody? So I thought today, as I'm just kind of sitting in my office, chilling, I had a meeting, and uh, then ran my wife some Beach Please, which is a delicious drink shop here in Cheyenne, that I have not updated my EDC in forever. Now, if you don't know what EDC is, EDC is very simple. It's everyday carry. Now, you may be like, well, man, this is a tactical video. No, no, no. Everyday carry is for everybody. Every single person in the world has an everyday carry. Mine, I posted about two years ago, and I carried everything. I had a ton of flashlights. I had all sorts of stuff. Now, I've kind of minimalized and gone down to what I feel is necessary for me to carry in my job. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to run through the pockets, starting from the butt pockets up to the front pockets, and what I carry, including what's on my wrist. So, starting with the back left pocket, now I'm currently recording with it. I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max. It's a phone of choice for me. It's got a great camera. It's a great screen size to um, intake media, as well as I got some pretty long fingers, so the bigger phone size and bigger form factor actually works really well for me. So I enjoy having a bigger phone. I enjoy having a full screen um, bezel-less display. I love my phone. Now, I'm not an Apple fanboy, although most of the products that I do carry, whether it be my computer or my tablet, are all Apple. Um, it's not that I'm a fanboy, I just love the way that they all work together. I did go um, back a number of years ago and I used a Samsung Note 4, that dates how long ago it was, and I loved that phone. But just the simplicity of my iPhone and the way that I can organize it, I love my phone. The next thing in my back pocket, I mean, it's 2021, so we all know, is a mask. Now, I'm not the whole, like, wear a mask, it's the best thing ever, but I don't like to be a pain in the butt. So I do have one for those stores where it's, like, absolutely required, as well as if there's a mask mandate in place here for stores where they can get in trouble, I do take one just to wear it, just to make it easier on me. The one that I'm wearing right now is a JMP's mask. So it's where I train. And so it's a nice way just to go out and kind of share, hey, this is where I train or check this out. It's a great conversation starter too. So those are my two back pockets, basically my phone and a mask. I don't like a ton of stuff in my back pockets and my phone's back there, but when I drive, it's up on my dash um, in case I need to go anywhere. And then, um, and then the mask just kind of goes flat. But I don't like a lot of stuff in my back pockets. Now in my front left pocket, it's where I keep all my keys. And when I say keys, I mean anything. So anything that goes on the key ring. So right like on my pocket, clip to my pocket, I have just this little, it's called a Gerber mullet. So it's called a mullet because it looks like a mullet, right? So this is in the front part in the back. So this acts as a belt loop. I use it to clip it onto my pocket. I have a bottle opener. I have a little Olight i3 EOS flashlight. It's super bright and it gets the job done. It's a, it's a lot brighter than my phone flashlight. So if I do need to get somewhere, that's why I have that. And then I just keep a little Swiss Army Knife Cadet because, or sorry, sorry, Swiss Army Knife SD Classic because why not? So those are just like some tools that I have on my key ring just because. And then I have my basic car keys and I know what everybody's going to say, holy crap, you have a lot of keys. This isn't even, like this is the tip of the iceberg. But every key that I have, I use. So I, I work at a church, I'm a youth pastor, and every single key that I have is used for some portion of a building on our property that I need to get into or need to have quick access where I don't have to run and go find that key. Now I am thinking about putting the keys on here into like a key bar and then throwing these in my backpack, but for right now they're just on my keys with my car keys. Also, lastly in that left pocket is a key smart, and I keep this key smart this has all the main keys that I use. There's the key to my office, the keys to get into the church, and some other keys uh, that I realized I needed before we had these keys. So like on here, I have keys to the copy code, keys to our security room, keys to our pastor's office, and then to the gym. Over here, I have all the keys that get me into the church building and into my office so that I can work on the day-to-day. -day. 
Now that all the keys are out of the way, and I know that that seems like a lot of keys, that's where I would like to minimalize what I carry more. Um, but again, back in the day, I used to carry flashlights and all sorts of crazy stuff, more tools, all that. So now we'll go to the my front pocket where um, the the day-to-day -day stuff, like the most important stuff is. Keys are important, but this stuff like literally could not live without. So first things first, I'm just gonna empty this pocket because there is a lot of stuff in here because um, it all goes together. So first things first, clip to it. I always have a pocket knife. Now my pocket knife is not meant for a tool, even though it can be used as a self-defense tool. I just have a knife to open letters, packages, anything that you might need. Currently today I have the CRKT BT Fighter, I think it is. Yeah, BT Fighter. It's a Thai design. I love CRKT knives just because they're very inexpensive, but you get a great product and you get some really cool designs with it. Like this knife is really beautiful. It's got a button lock running on bearings. It's just super snappy and it is really, really fun to play with. So I always have a pocket knife on me, uh, but again, not for like any like scary tactical reason, but just because if I need to open letters or I need to open a box that came in from Amazon or anything like that, I have that capability and it's really easy and quick to get to. Next thing in my pocket is something new and there's big news to come with this company um, with that logo right there. So this is the beard struggle and it's their beard comb. So I don't know if you're like me, but a lot of times when my beard gets all over, especially when I wear a mask, it presses down. This, I can just comb it out, get those edges out, make sure my beard stays nice and presentable so that I don't have my beard going all over the place. I actually am teaming up with the beard struggle and becoming one of their brand Vikings, just working on a couple last things, but I'm really excited for this partnership. I am part of their MVB brotherhood. And so I love this company and what they're, what they're looking to do. My brother actually got me this beard comb. Um, I used to have those flat ones, but uh, it, they would always break in my pocket. This one's foldable, so it keeps the, the bristles nice and protected in my pocket. I love this comb. My wife would say I love it too much and that I'm always combing my beard. It's just because it's new. Um, the next thing is I carry a, uh, a business card holder. So if I get, like, a, I had a gentleman come by and drop off his business card, so I put that in there if I'm, like, switching business cards with somebody. And then as well as I have my, my BLS life support in there, like my BLS card, so this shares I'm, I'm certified basic life support. And then my own personal business cards I keep in there as well. And I actually need to order some new ones because I'm running out and my email has changed and a couple other things, so I need to order new ones. I actually got this specific... Um, business card holder custom made from Wyoming Creative, um, and I love working with them. The, it's just a great leather outside with a little like metal inside, but super simple business card holder. I carry chapstick. This is Blistics like cranberry or something. I don't know. It was in my stocking for Christmas, and I always have ch chapstick. I live in Wyoming, so it gets really cold, and your lips get chapped a lot. It dries out during the winter, which sounds really weird, but that is how things work. And so I make sure that I always have chapstick on me so i just i always have chapstick so that's my chapstick um, then for christmas um i sit on the board of life choice pregnancy care center it's a crisis pregnancy center where we um, try to help families um, who are in a crisis pregnancy or maybe don't know if they're pregnant but they want to find out and they gifted us uh, as board as male board members which is yeah it is what it is this amazing money clip and so it's just two two magnets surrounded by leather it's patinaed really nicely um, and it is locally made from here in Cheyenne. And so I make sure that I always carry this. The buffalo is kind of our thing, so I carry this on me at all time. And then what I do is I utilize the magnet to keep these two things just together so they're not all over the place. Lastly, in that right pocket is my wallet. Now, I am very, very, very proud of this wallet. Um, it's from Ali designs i believe sorry if i don't have the name right i'll put it down here but she designed this wallet and i had the idea i just wanted a very slim wallet i didn't want any room for cash because i had just gotten this but i wanted them to kind of match now this one i've had longer so the patina has worn in more this is actually very brand new it holds six cards which is all that i need so i have my two ids um, one my driver's license one my concealed carry permit and then the cards that I use, some of them for work, some of them for personal. Um, and then this is something that I'm really excited about is it has this little V right here. That's so that I can have a guitar pick. So a couple years ago, I picked up playing the guitar and I just love to have a guitar pick on me because you never know when the um, opportunity is gonna present itself to play guitar. So that's my wallet. She did an amazing job. 
Um, and so I buy wallets to have forever. I've gone through a couple from the Ridge um, to this other one with the like trigger. I shot up cards and now I'm back to this and I just love this wallet. It takes up very little space in, in my pocket. It makes it so that all that stuff can fit in there. It's just an amazing thing. Plus, I'm one of the few people that, well, I'm the only one in the world that I know of right now that has this wallet from this person. It's just amazing. Now, I am a little bit of a redneck. I do live in a very gun-friendly state, so not that I have enough followers to actually monetize, but I do carry a firearm. I carry a Smith & Wesson shield and this leather holster. Again, the leather pretty much matches my wallet. I just love that look. So it's my shield. It is locked and loaded, because like I said, I carry this stuff, so here I am. So we're just gonna put that over there. But I do carry a firearm, that's the state I'm in, so that's. So lastly, let's go to accessories. Obviously, I, I always wear clothes, I wear shoes. I'm not really gonna get into that kind of stuff. Um, I have a very interesting style, everything from like skater athlete to like cowboy, it just depends on the day. Um, today it's cold outside, so I have my Grogu beanie on and that's it. So I have my glasses, I have to wear glasses. If I don't, like right now, it's blurry. I can't even see the timer on the camera. Like I, I know what it's saying, but it's very, very blurry. So I just ordered some new ones from Zenny.com. If you're not familiar with them, they're an amazing website where you can order any kind of glasses. And it is so much cheaper than like getting them from an actual optometrist. So I ordered some of those. I'll be able to have sunglasses for the first time. So I'm super excited. Man. I haven't had sunglasses in years. So I always have a pair of glasses because, well, if I don't, I can't see. Now you may say, why not go to contacts? And then you can buy whatever kind of sunglasses you want. You can be styling. I get it, contacts freak me out, poking myself in the eyes is not my thing. I could probably get used to it, but I kind of like the way that I look with glasses. It feel like I feel like it makes me look more distinguished. So the other thing is I always have a wedding ring on. This is my second wedding ring. My first one was titanium with four crosses around the circle. It is engraved with I Will Always Love You, but I wanted to put this one on. It's a tungsten carbide ring in black with a little itty bitty diamond right there. You probably can't see it, um, but we got it after we had been married for about a year and a half. I got a new ring. It's a lot heavier, but I just put that one on. On my right wrist, I have a, uh, so going back to the beard struggle, right? I have a beard struggle bracelet. They send this one of these with every single purchase. It comes in the package. Just kind of a cool little flare. They also put a, they also give you a sticker, which is on my iPad. And then it has an FU COVID-19. Now you may say, well, Aren't you a pastor? You shouldn't have that. Yeah, I am, but come on, let's be honest. F you COVID-19. They also have ones that say F you cancer and stuff like that. So it's actually a really good cause. Um, like, and when I say a good cause, they're just cool bands. So like sickness sucks, whatever it is. And so if somebody's fighting cancer or whatever, it kind of lets you know that you're on their side. And then as well as like COVID just sucks. It's just horrible for whatever reason. So then, um, and this is kind of a recent ad. Um, I love wearing a wristwatch. I feel like my wrist just looks better with a watch on. I feel like it can look more distinguished. And it's a lot to me in a meeting, like going, okay, well, hey, and I normally let people know like, hey, I need to be out of here by this time. But to look down on my wrist for the time, instead of looking at my phone, I just feel it's a lot nicer. So this watch is actually a gift from my brother-in-law. He got an Apple watch and I love the way that this one looks. It's just a very classic look, um, a big, big watch face, nice bezels. It's an Invictica. Yeah, Invicta, Invicta um, watch. I don't really know anything else about it. If they're, you can find them on Amazon. Go ahead and look them up. This one is currently out of production, which is why I jokingly always said, hey, you should give me that now that you have an Apple watch. And apparently he'd been talking about that, but I love this watch and it means a lot to me because it was a gift from him. Um, and it is just so clean. Let's see if we can get on that watch face. It is just so clean. Now, having a wristwatch does, I mean, it brings other issues like that big old crown right there does dig into the hand. But I feel like having a watch, uh, whether it's an Apple watch, whether it's a Samsung S, or I think it's their S gear watches, whatever, just adds something so cool to your wrist. And having a timepiece on is just always just classy. Lastly, because I forgot to say it, so you're talking to future TJ right now. I do carry a backpack every single day with a bunch of different goodies in it. But that's a video for a different day. And that's it. That's literally all I carry. It all fits on this table. There's nothing crazy about what I carry. I don't carry a ton of stuff anymore. Uh, again, you can go look at my other EDC video and there was a ton. But this stuff is really what I need for every day. 
Um, it's not craziness. Now, no, I do not hand a business card out, nor do I get a business card every day. But I'd rather have this and be able to get my phone and my contact out to somebody quicker and easier rather than like having to write it on a piece of paper. Um, and But I do always use, I mean, everything is used almost every day. This is what I need. Um, and honestly, that's what a youth pastor carries in his pockets. As always, remember, I love you. Remember, God loves you. Hit the subscribe button. Like this video if you like the content. If you're enjoying, again, subscribe. I don't know how many people like are, are, aren't subscribed and don't watch. I don't really care about that stuff. I'm making these videos for fun, but it's always nice to get a comment or a, or a new subscriber or a like. I appreciate you guys taking the time with me today to watch what's in my pockets. Remember, Jesus loves you. He really does, regardless of what you've done or who you think you are. He loves you. Have a great day.